Hi, you're visiting DME Elevators and Lifts. We offer, install, service, and maintain stair lifts, wheelchair lifts, elevators for the home, light commercial elevators, dumb waiters, and ceiling lifts. We serve customers in Illinois, Indiana, and Wisconsin through our three offices, Lyle, Illinois, Indianapolis, as well as Kenosha, Wisconsin. We're bringing a number of videos to you to answer questions that we oftentimes get from our customers. We hope that they're helpful to you, and if you have any other questions, you are welcome to give us a call. And now I'm going to give you an overview of straight and curved stair lifts. They share many of the same features, but there is one significant difference, and that's the rail. I'll show you this first. The curved stair lift system, it will go around virtually any bend. In this case, you have a 180 degree bend. If you have a staircase that turns in the middle, it may require a curved stair lift, but sometimes we can utilize two straight stair lifts to get you up and down the stairs. Let's look at the straight stair lift. Essentially, it goes from the top to the bottom in a single rail. Now, there's many features that are similar. We're gonna walk through a few of those right now. Folding seats. So essentially, what you'll see is that the arms will come up, and in this case, the footrest will actually come with the seat. That's just a feature of this particular stand and stair lift model. Um, this is a mechanical link. However, in other stair, stair lifts, you'll find that they actually have a power folding footrest activated by a button on the armrest. Still, in other cases, you would have a manual folding fo footrest, and you would have to go down, lift it up, and put it back down. Uh, so those are all different types of folding footrests. I'd like to demonstrate the seatbelt. So in this particular case, this is a retractable seatbelt that you can fasten with one hand. You'll also find that there are center clasp seatbelts, uh, diagonal seatbelts, which are similar to what you have in the car, and then also five-point harnesses for people who do not have as much control over their torso. And that's, those are available on, on virtually um, any straight or curved stair lift. Going further, uh, what you'll find are safety edges. This is required by code, and there are safety edges on this chair. One here, one here, and one here. Point being is that there, if a chair were to come in contact with something, like let's say your iPad fell out of your lap, or uh, your puppy got too close to the chair, what will happen is that leading safety edge will activate and the chair will come to a stop. As soon as that's removed, you can descend or rise without any issue. Okay. The next thing I want to talk through is how these are powered. Most modern stair lifts run off of battery. There are two 12 volt batteries in this carriage. Uh, they are powered by a trickle charger so that they're always to the full. Um, they are low voltage so there's no risk in the charging system. You can't, you can't electrocute yourself with this. Uh, it's all low voltage. Um, these chairs, and this should be common across all chairs, is that they swivel at the top. So in the case of a straight stair kicks, the straight stair lift, what you'll find is actually the chair will come to a stop hovering over the last step. Then using a swivel lever, you can swivel the chair over the top. When you want to get back in, you can swivel it and bring yourself back to this point. That is the case on every straight. In the case of curves, it will depend uh, and whether you have a top overrun, like in this particular case to my left, this curved rail system brings you over the top and thus I need not swivel. I can get in and out of this chair without having to swivel it. But those are some of the basic differences between curved and straight and the common features that they share.